Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don, a mighty explosive one. Let's crack into another one. We got back from Vegas. We went to Vegas. Yeah. This is the first time we recorded since we got back. I know, man. I, I wanted to, we were going to do an episode in Vegas, but we decided against because we were highly intoxicated and, and tired. Uh, yes, very tired. Very tired. It was either like in the hotel room to like relax and recoup. Or out there just like doing stuff. Yeah, a lot of doing stuff. A lot of doing stuff. What do you? Okay, so uh, I guess we could give like a, a small like. I mean, recount. you're a millionaire now. No, I did not win a million dollars. I did not. Jonas seems to think that I've, I'm hiding millions that I won in Vegas from him. I, I like can I, when I went to the bathroom, he just won a million dollars. I can assure you, sir, that I do not have a hidden million uh, dollar bankroll somewhere. Could you imagine winning a million dollars and just like pretending like you didn't and just like going the whole rest of the trip just being like, hey, Jonas, ready to go home now? I feel like if I won a million dollars, I would pretty much pretend like I didn't anyway. To be honest, uh, I'd work less. <laughs> I'd definitely work less. So, but let's let's stick with Vegas, man. What do you, what 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 is one part of Vegas that you remember, or was the most memorable for you, or you know something that sticks out so that we can uh, tell them? A I always like about gambling at tables. Gambling at tables, okay. I like that, like because well, I don't. You, I why don't you go a little bit deeper in that? It's a podcast. Well, I mean, like I sat at a table and gambled. What on kind roulette. of table? I, I'm trying to get to. I didn't even get to finish my sentence. You're not wrong. Uh, roulette. And craps. Those were the two tables I played. I didn't play. I played it. I didn't play it like a true crap. I mean, I threw dice, but all the betting was done electronically. Mm -hmm. You went to a real craps table where like the betting was done like on the table. I did. Um, and then I played roulette with a real roulette table that you just bet on all the. I love playing roulette. That it's a lot of fun. It looked like it was fun. Um, I didn't realize that like. Mm, I don't know. It took me a minute to understand what was going on. Jonas assured me that it was super easy, but I ended up looking like an asshole anyway a, a few times because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. But, you know, <laughs> you know, so, so be it. <laughs> so be it. You hey. know. Didn't expect my buddy to walk me through it for the first time. I did when you were doing your um, bets. No, it was when the, when the dealer was like, look, man, you can't keep making these bets. <laughs> and then you just looked at me and sipped your drink while I looked like a jerk. In front I was of drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you being drunk though. But yeah, I did. Me and Jonas would play a little roulette. We stayed at the fabulous Harris Hotel and Casino. Oof. I haven't I haven't even sent my Karen email yet. All right, before we get into the Harris Hotel and Casino, I yeah, wanna, what was your favorite? I want to give one of mine. All right, so while we were there, it was on our last actual night there. We met up with a couple of childhood friends, and we had a wonderful time. I really enjoyed seeing those guys. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's been like like 20 years for me or something like that. I haven't well, seen that them long. since. I ran into one of them 15. when I was home in Ohio. Yeah. But the other one, it's been 10 years since I've yeah, seen them. Yeah. Been, I would say it's probably been about that, if not a little bit longer. Um, but we ended up going to a bar called Player One. And this place was so up my alley, man. It had a bunch of retro video games. Like arcade machines. Like arcade cabinets just all around the place. It was uh it was very stylized. All of the uh, the attendants there were dressed up in different in different outfits, Cosp cosplay, yeah. Yeah, so like the, uh, the the person at the cashier at the front was jury. There was a, a Leon Kennedy. There was a. Uh, a character from King of Fighters, I Aurora, Aurora, Aurora. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but there was a bunch of different characters. Very cool. I think there was a GTA guy as well. Um, and I ended up playing. I played I play a little bit of Street Fighter. That was fun. I've we, never the what they Street had Fighter. at the bar. They had flat screens with like yeah. PlayStations and stuff hooked up. They had different games. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was a very cool experience. And then after that, the real experience, obviously, still hanging out with those guys, is when we went to Tournament of Kings. That's what it was called. I keep calling it Knights of the Round Table. Turn, I see, and I always would call it Medieval Times because that's what they called it in the Cable Guy. Oh yeah, yeah. So it was very similar to like the scene in the Cable Guy where it's like a show with like horses and guys on horseback doing like night stuff. There was like a whole jousting segment. There was a dragon quotation fingers and a lot of pyrotechnics. A wizard and there was jokes and we ate with our hands. Yeah, we got a Cornish hen, some potatoes. So, they didn't give. They didn't give me the bread. 
They, you did not get bread. No, I didn't. Nope, you didn't get it. No, I didn't and get you, no bread. And you made sure to let everybody know. I told one I, guy I didn't get bread. <laughs> and then he came back and asked, and I was like, no. Nah. And he's like, do you want more? And I was like, I don't care. No, I'm good. I would have been like, yeah, give, give me my bread. He, what he asked two. me was, do you want a whole other plate? And I was like, yep. no. I don't, yep. want a, I don't want a whole other duck. No, you could have shared those potatoes and, and meat. A whole I would just, I would just grabbed it and you just let you rip part of the meat <laughs> off the bucket. Yeah, so it's so funny. Is that I, I, and I didn't even eat it like that. It's kind of like picked at it, like everybody else. Yeah, but I could have just like picked. What it else up is on like, there? There was potatoes, bread, chicken, like corn. And, a corn. Oh, a little cup. little piece of corn on the I top. I hate corn on Again, the top. Again, I was messed up because I was drunk. What does that mean? I was drunk when I got there, so I was like, I didn't remember about the corn. Oh, I didn't remember to tell you how to eat. Oh, corn. I thought, I thought you I thought because you were drunk, the corn had a weird effect on you. I don't. I thought no, that, no. That you had a weird dr- alcohol corn like uh, cataclysm going on here. Yeah, yeah. I hate corn on cops so bad, so I didn't even touch that. I hate it. I hate it. Like I'm coming around on corn as a as a like a kernel in general, but, but even, like ripping it off the bone with your yeah, teeth. Yeah. Even, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I hate that. It's like messy and it's like phallic, and I don't want to put that thing in my mouth. And I don't. I don't you don't like want to gargle get, corn. No, dude. There's nothing about it. I don't want the butter on it. That's gross because butter's gross. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah. So that was my favorite part. Now, Jonas, give me what was the worst part? Was it the amazing Harris Hotel and Casino? No, was, Are we gonna was, give no, our it was just the, scathing it was review? The same thing that happens every time I go to Vegas, like sore feet and blisters because you walk so much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, that was my least favorite part. It always is. Yeah, because it's like your feet just hurt because you're walking miles upon miles. And it, it, the thing is, is that on the Vegas Strip, it's like you can walk for miles and miles and not get anywhere. I know. That's why I, t- I told him before we went, I go, you're going to look and be like, oh, it's, let's go there. It's right over there. And then 20 minutes later, you're nowhere near nowhere where you need near. to be. Yeah. Yeah. Blo- the blocks are not a normal city block. It, it's yeah, it's very weird. It's like there's so many people and you can't walk at like a normal leisurely pace. It's either you're being rushed by the people behind you or you're being slowed by the people in front of you. That's really it. Yeah. And then it's like it was so hot, and there's so many bodies that we were trying to. We by by day two, we had figured out being totally new to Vegas. Well, not well, at least me, I was totally yeah. new. But we had figured out a route so that we never had to walk outside. But very we, little, yeah, 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 yeah. We could just basically walk from like hotel lobby to hotel lobby, to casino to casino yeah, to casino. Yeah, yeah. So we we did we did do that. Uh, and yeah, the feet the feet thing sucked. I hated that. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, it, well, I mean, because like. You want? I would have loved to have done twice as much as we did. Yeah. But like, it's like your feet just hurt, dude. Yep. One one thing that was very interesting is in Austin it had been 105 degrees for like two months straight. In Vegas, two days we were there, it was only 85 degrees and it rained, and it was like 70 right. degrees at night. And I was like, this is wonderful. So that's the other thing. It's like Jonas has been to Vegas a few times. It's my first time. The first time I go to Vegas, they get rain for like two days straight. Like there was literal flooding in the streets. Oh yeah, like was I was telling people damage. when I got home, and they're like, "Oh, I saw on the news that Vegas was flooding," and I was like, <laughs> "I was there. We were there for it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely insane, dude." And it's like you know, in Texas, we haven't had a lot of rain at all. No, but no. it was it was, it made for a, a very interesting trip walking around flooded Vegas a little bit. It wasn't like up to your knees or your ankles or anything, but there were some areas where the streets were pretty bad, and there was like damage to the streets after the waters receded. Very, yeah. very interesting trip, man. No, no, it was good. Yeah, I had a good time. It was, uh, I mean, it was eventful, but kind of uneventful, too. I mean, like, and that's what I kind of, I think you figured out, too. It's like, if you're not going there to, like, if we didn't have friends who lived there, yeah. three, th- four nights is way too much. Yeah. Because yeah, if yeah. you're just at one hotel and you're just gambling and eating and drinking the whole time, like, from as you go from hotel to hotel to hotel, it's all the same. That's, it's like the yeah. same thing. Same machines. That's the conclusion. Same whatever, except for uh, it's just different people. That's what I. That's yeah. The conclusion. The way I put it when we were there is like every room that we go to in these hotel lobbies, these casinos are exactly the same because everything in them is the same. It's just different carpet and wallpaper. Yeah, a yeah. different vibe to each area. It was like 
but it's still like the same game cabinets. It's like every place has the same uh, Tekken Tag, Street Fighter. Every every place had the exact same game. What was the one game. that you like? Buffalo Soldier. Buffalo Gold was everywhere we went, man. It was in the it was in the airport. It was in the that's the business every... we should get into. Slot machines. Buffalo Gold. I'm good. Slot machines. I'm not getting into. I mean, we can't. Even, it's not legal in Texas. I mean, we need to make our own slot machines. We need and to sell make them. our own slot machines. And sell them, and yes. Sell them. You want us to become slot machine manufacturers? Yes. No. Before we go, Jonas. Well, no. We we'll just we'll we'll do a part two. Sad. I want to talk about Sad Vegas. Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah. It'll be Sad Vegas. Okay. So, so come back tomorrow. Yeah. We're gonna be talking about Sad Vegas. So okay, that's all time we have means. today's episode. <laughs> Please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Oh, uh, yeah.